And today I want to talk about why John 6.44 supports synergism and not monergism and why monergism cannot be true. Calvinists use John 6.44 as a proof text for monergism yet fail to read on and see it proves synergism. Let me read the passage now, John 6.44-46. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets and they shall all be taught of God, every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. Now hear this, it is written in the prophets that all men shall be taught by God, but those who cooperate by listening and hearing and learn are those who are drawn by God and come to Jesus, those who choose to repent and place their faith in Christ. Synergism is true for conversion and sanctification, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin, 1 John 1, 7. If we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit, Galatians 5.25. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans 8, 6, 10 and 14. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. 1 Peter 1, 22. It is but only by God's grace that man can be saved, and this saving grace has appeared to all. Titus 2, 11 to 15. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority, let no man despise thee. And now, I want to tell you why monogism cannot be true. We know monogism cannot be true due to the plain fact that to be saved, man must repent and believe. Now, repentance is forsaking sin, having a change of mind, and of mind, and the word believe, sorry, and the word believe is from the Greek pistou, which means to place confidence in, to trust, to be persuaded of, and it implies obedience to as a moral choice. As apathy, believe if not, means to refuse to obey, refuse to believe or be persuaded hence. Now listen to this passage please, John 3.36 He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Now you know that monogism cannot be true. Thank you for listening, God bless.